Now look who's decided to crawl out from underneath this slimy little rock. Mubin Shake, who was made infamous during the incident of the Toronto 18. See, Mubin has had multiple identity crises in his life. One, when he was younger and he got raped by his Uncle Jar and told not to tell anybody. And two, when he became an extremist, not a terrorist, not a terrorist, just extreme. And during the time of 9-11, he was praising what happened to the World Trade Center. And now Mubin wants to come after us. That's funny, isn't it? A guy that sold his friends out for a little bag of money, although he did say he was doing it for the Canadian people, when it was time to go to court, he held the Canadian government ransom for more money. But you know, he was doing it for the betterment of Canadians and he could not stand to see one Canadian hurt. He's a slime ball and he's a liar and he'll sell anybody out for a bag of money. That's the truth. You can tell his entire persona right now is the last one he has. It's the only card he has to play. He can't go against the government or else he'd be considered uh, what he was before. Now you have to do the government's bidding. You can't think for yourself. I interviewed you, asked you all your points of view on life, and you agree with everything we agree with. But you still think Canada is the best country to live in, despite the fact that your kids can be taken away from you if you don't agree with their gender ideology. It's probably why you homeschool. Eh? You can't risk that. And now you want to come after my bank? You're threatening my bank account. The guy that was confused as a child as to where his allegiance stands. The people you're going after, they've never had an identity crisis. Jeremy McKenzie went to war in Afghanistan for this country. I represented this country in the World Games in 94 and 95. We're not confused. Sounds like you're having another identity crisis. It sounds like you're letting your emotions get the better of you, actually. And the fact that we made fun of you a few times and made you look like a piece of shit, you can't take that. You can't handle that. Hell, even some of the people over at CSIS agree with what we're saying. And they think you're a joke, too. It's funny, isn't it? And the people you've been teaming up with the likes of Brian Troche shows the person that you really are. Since Brian Troche has come underneath your wing of tutelage, he's done nothing but harass people worse than he was before. <clears throat> yeah. I think tonight's stream we're going to look a little closer at Mubin Shake. Maybe why he was banned from the United States. <clears throat> up until he made a deal with the Canadian government. I'm going to enjoy watching you squirm, bud. Enjoy.